voice is filthy. Filthy. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well on this uh, lovely sunny Monday. It's been a, a wonderful long weekend. Managed to get out on the bike a bunch. Uploaded a few videos here and there. You should check those out if you haven't seen them already. We've uh, tried a few different mic setups recently. Um, this is the latest. So I've actually got the GoPro mic input, the proper one, the expensive little module that's overpriced. Going to my lapel mic, but I've just tried different places in my helmet to try and find the least wind, wind noisy position. But I feel like it's just fucking wind noises everywhere in this helmet. I hope you're all doing good. Then I've had a nice weekend, had some time off. He's got the thousand version of mine. Quite like to have a go on the thousand just to see the uh, the difference in everything, power, comfort. Just slightly newer as well. I believe I saw the Warburton's lorry a second ago. That's the bus. The bus is early. I was five minutes early, and the bus is fucking early. That's a piss take. I'm not going to stop. Oh my god, they're not here. Is it not a school day? Oh, the fun. The morning fun. It's a little tingle in your balls. I do like this bike, to be honest. It's a nice bike. It's fast enough. And by fast enough, I mean it's fast as fuck. I know it's not the fastest and it's not the sportiest bike, but it's comfortable and it's fucking good on fuel. And when it goes, it fucking goes. As you'd expect a 600 to, you know. Something with an R6 engine's gonna fucking wanna scream a little bit. Clear roads this morning after the bus, obviously. I don't know if half time's two weeks or one week, no idea. Yeah, so I'm part tempted to get something a bit sportier. Maybe I should wait until the end of summer when the prices come down. Probably makes sense. But then do I start doing some mods to the phaser? Because I found a really nice lower fairing for like 200 quid and it makes it look a little bit racier. I think it just makes it a little bit different and a bit more fun. So I might, I might be tempted to uh, get that on payday. It's so clear. Sorry, bike.
more to the highlights of the Isle of Man TT as well, the superbikes. And my god, those boys know how to ride bikes fast as fuck. They average like 130. I don't know how they do that for six laps. Oh. What is that? Why is there a car lorry? 30 miles an hour. I mean, we've had a good blast. More than I could ever ask for in the morning, to be honest. I think I had my wallet today. Oh well, looks like I'm not buying anything. Yeah, it's funny how your uh, opinion of bikes changes over, the, over like, the weeks. It's not even like a long period. I'm day on, day off with different bikes. It's crazy. I guess it's going to be a uh, wait until I get to a point where I could sell my bike and afford something else and see what's out there and see what I'm feeling at the time. I would be intrigued to see how much a 1000 Tora insurance cost would be for me because obviously that's only a 675 Daytona and it's like a sports look isn't it it's fucking quick to be honest but it's uh, I'd love to see how much say a thousand Africa twin or 1100 Africa twin would be you should do that because full fully full comp insurance for a Triumph SP a Daytona it was like 1600 for the year and if I went third party which I know is a bit silly would be about 700 quid especially on a bike that's worth nearly five grand or whatever upwards but yeah thanks for tuning into the channel guys check out some other videos if you haven't already give us a subscribe and a like drop us a comment if you fancy that sort of thing and uh thanks for watching motor pov have a good rest of your day check us out tomorrow we've got another motor vlog up and uh yeah peace out Do you like an afternoon ride?